you and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. After episode six, I just can't wait to see what's about to happen on episode seven. I'm under the gun, y'all. I'm trying to get this series finished and out before January 1st, 2023. So we're going to get started. We're, we're just going to go right on ahead and get this thing going chapter seven load save hope you all had a wonderful holiday season so uh the past behind us why didn't you come where have you been for the past two months we did come one night early. That was our mistake. Mm-hmm. Sure was. Well, really your mistake was not listening to the police officer. Oh. Is this a flashback? God, that looks very real. Whoa. Max is alive. Yes, call out to him. Make sure he knows you're alive. Max. Hey. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. Interesting. So, Max. Oh, you can Max. It. Max is a werewolf, y'all. Yikes. Shut up. You can't just shut up. Is that Chris Hackett's this son? Is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. 
Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Acceptable reason, being broke. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Yeah. Please. You just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? Not really. I feel like I'm going crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. Hmm. Laura? So yeah. you can... Why am I naked? You can be a... What? Werewolf. I mean, after we got attacked... And still come back know, to normal form. I'm waking up in a jail form. cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and... Super naked. Everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Hmm. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? 
Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Just be compliant, bruh. You're Sorry, in a cell. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Max, Move. you better not fuck this good up. Boy. Is that good boy? Oh shit. Hey, stop struggling. Max, you need to stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Was that blood always on her face? Think, Laura, I think. There's gotta be something in oh. here you can use. Yes. I guess. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Hmm. Interesting. The witch lady is the hag of Hackett's Quarry. Probably. I think. Ew. Spoon? There is no spoon. What's this? Perhaps Some with a spoon. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Right? Who, who? Come on, bro. That's a pretty lame line. Hey, the second I we get out of here, easily. you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? I had to get aggressive on that last line. Hey! Come back! Fuck!
How'd it go? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... Maybe. What? I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. Well, you did break into the lodge. What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Mm. Almost picked the wrong one. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school. I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. Bruh. It's his I, business. I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? No time for Discord. Get on the same page. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. True. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. Uh, what is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey. Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Just say it, Max. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's You're a right on track. It was a werewolf. Are you out of your... Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies... Aliens, time hopping Draculas. <laughs> you want Ryan, answers, Ryan? Right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Dylan loved what that. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With a thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Oh, Ryan. How cute. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. Did Max scratch her it. up? Damn. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there.
I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. We need him on our side. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So... Alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? <laughs> oh my god. Why? You. You call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. <sighs> Laid it on too thick. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. So that part's right, I think. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shh. 
Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Oh, shit. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Whose voice is that? Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Oh, Max, you're feeling it. The hunger, the urge to consume. Feeling like you need to howl, Max? Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Well, right. I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better don't, stay back. Don't, don't do that. Max, I need to observe you. Fucking close enough for you, bitch! Okay. Fuck. <sighs> Max? <laughs> Max? Tell me what's going on? Max, just do it. So, okay, you don't automatically become a werewolf just because you got scratched. Like, they have to bite you, apparently. Or she would be a werewolf. So much for depth perception. Do you completely lose all depth perception when Let's you lose an eye? That bastard cop's hiding. Let's go back and see if we can get through that little brick 
whole thing. Figures, but I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Keep snooping. What are you hiding, Travis? Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, when Chris Hackett told Ryan to stop telling the ghost stories, that was actually like a part of a coordinated like, cease and desist. Are they feeding camp counselors to this werewolf to satiate the witch lady? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Chris Hackett burnt down the uh, the harem scarum thing. Not so much a hint as a slap in the and face. And I, I also just realized I was not recording my audio, which really sucks. Um. I really hope this audio is good. to find here. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon.
This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else in here? A room full of lockers. Birthday beers. July 7th. Computer password, maybe? This can't be doing too well. Mm. Okay, so this harem scarum thing, basically harem scarum burned to the ground. It was like a, I assume a traveling circus act that burned to the ground intentionally question mark um and i mean i i have to assume that all of this is related to harem scarum the sheriff probably died in the blaze Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. Fifty six. So he's there's something like supernatural going on with this guy. He's not fifty six looking like that. And if that's Chris Hackett's son, and he's 56, then definitely something going on with Christopher Hackett. Now let's see if that birthday is a password. Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire this during the audio night, real quick. that spread hmm. pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby.
I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. All right, let's go back to the cell. So Oh, wait, keep looking. Put that syringe in the little brick thing. Tell me what happened. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? Hmm. I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Glad we hid that syringe. Happy? Brew some coffee. All right, got to pause it here for my meeting. What's this? An education. Watch. Job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor, uh, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. <laughs> what? I'm not. 
This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Is there a cure? Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. So they have to kill Keep the reading. first werewolf. Don't take the gun. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not so as we straightforward as you think. Can save Dylan and Nick. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I, mean, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. Hmm. Cowardly, Mr. Hackett. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me. Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Why it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science.
What do you do, Mr. Hackett? Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him. About the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw I'm sorry, I scratched you. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The counselor. Go up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? You bit one of them. You shot me. I'm telling mom. Take your lucky stars it wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm <laughs> handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And Are you those know hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to, we're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Chris Hackett is uh, a werewolf. Uh, <laughs> oh what is it? God. Travis was just wow. talking the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess... Not thinking me. Thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. 
That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna mm. get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura? Uh. Laura, are you okay? God damn it. <sighs> Laura. What the hell's going on? Laura! I hope that was the right decision. <laughs> I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. <sighs> okay, I need to see what... was this card I don't know if that was the right does that mean that was the right move should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks no, I, I still can. Okay, the hag of Hackett's quarry is their mother. It's coming from behind that door. And she's... There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess he won't be needing us anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry. We're killing Chris Hackett. Mm -hmm. And 
that I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. Hmm. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. She already shot him? We need to kill the original werewolf, Max? not just Chris Hackett. Hello? your gun. Positioning was Kevin in. Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kate Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? She got bitten just then? God dang it. Mm. Show the bite. You gotta show it. You gotta show it. It's like Walking Dead. 
you cannot hide your bite. It's only going to turn out bad. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Finally, Ryan is like trigger happy. With the wrong person, though. <laughs> oh. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bow. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Who is that? Let me go. Obviously, it's my Let mother. Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Just don't even, just, there's no use, Jacob. Jacob, man, bruh, why are you always in terrible situations? Causing or in the middle too, of Bobby. terrible situations. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! I'm sure I missed all my tarot cards. Nosy Whatever, little rat, it's fine. Aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Nothing. I don't have anything. Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path, of course. Are you Madam Hackett's uh, nemesis or something? Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <sighs> oh, no way, I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Oh, 
Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. It's also a ghost story, though. Kind of. Maybe? What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. Yeah, Ryan, this is the one time I'm gonna tell you to put the gun down, buddy. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen. There could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, Ryan, you're gonna have to, to spring to... into the cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If You're I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people here, are going Ryan. to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting That's with me? That's not what I meant. What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. Damn. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Right? Thank you. 
Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. There it is. Back your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Why is he behind all that barbed wire? Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. <laughs> Oh. Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Great. Oh my god, Laura! Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? We haven't got much time. So she got her eye back. So really werewolfism is like a miracle cure. We should get vials of werewolf blood in every hospital everywhere. Must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years.
This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. I think she may be guiding you. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. That little chuckle Ryan just did. Love interest budding here. out Dylan there we go. the lovers whoa buddy the lovers there's harmony in disagreement, brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. Don't know what that means. Hopefully not literal. Just look at this place. being weird Ryan. Oh boy, this is She's being weird Whoa. wolf. Do you think actually something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought.
A long way down. Well, where's Cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. <sighs> Previous so deal, then. What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. Okay, briefly. Previously in a Halo video, I mentioned that I was the snack lord. My lordship continues. These are the best nerds that have ever come out. So go ahead and go out to your local gas station, pick some up, okay? So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? What are you saying, Laura? What box do you want me to be in? Hmm. You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. I guess... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of closer to Dylan, though, after tonight, uh, I don't know. Trauma can bring people together. Yeah. Trauma bonding. And vodka. So what about you? Who do you like more? Yeah, I don't know. Are they about to make me choose? Maybe neither. Are they? <laughs> okay. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? That's a free card. Easy giveaway. Wheel of Fortune! <clears throat> After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Mm -hmm. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Mm -hmm. My thoughts on politics. Looks promising. We've already found two cards this episode, so I feel like there's not a ton more exploration to do, but we will see about what's right here. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. 
Guess we found the party. Alcohol from Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I what guess are, the hackers were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the cores are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Are they trying to make them a couple? You think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. I'm gonna be honest. Nick seemed like an afterthought there. Um, also, I'm really over here snacking. Snacking like heavy. Wait. What? Okay. Is that Emma? In. Is there. Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... <laughs> Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Are they in there having sex? That's what he was wondering just then. Ah! Oh, oh, she makes me! She makes me! Oh. Hey, it's us! Oh, oh shit. It burns! Oh my god. <gasps> Oh. I, so you can't see I, out I, the wait, window? Sorry. Dylan, I am so, oh, so sorry. I didn't know with you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. We all know it, Dylan. That's why I'm going to keep you alive. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we and were And here's where they find out summer. that this was all Jacob's fault. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're going to find it. Sounds like a long shot. Mm -hmm. I don't think it sounds like a very long shot, honestly. <clears throat> if you can get there, why wouldn't there be a rotor arm in one of the cars? Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. 
What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. They give me control of the character who does not have a gun. That's three cards this episode. The Emperor, authority, paternity, structures designed to topple, no, how the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them Melania. Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Bobby. Who's Bobby? Jacob is about to be loud as hell when we walk in. It's coming from a bed. Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Mm-hmm. Do that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. Gotcha. Yep. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. 
Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? What is she doing? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? Then who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? It's Nick. She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. What was that? I didn't activate it though. Oh yeah, I did. Friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. I promise. Fine. Fine. It's Nick. You gotta get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! Discord and the Hackett family. Help Jacob, bro. Okay. 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 Might be I'm, an idiot, but he's okay. on our so, team. I right know. So you have to open my door, and that door, and definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to help. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. He is in cage three. cage This is way too dangerous. Yeah, cuz you're fucked in. It. Okay. Done. Oh, I'm sorry, dude, please. God damn it. You're better off down here. What? I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. no. Come on. We'll come back for you. Please, just the fuck you out, Ryan. Please, Ryan. Please, dude. Okay? You don't know what they'll do to me. Come on. Come on, let me out. You can't let me down here. How the... I just not my, I just tried to say not, not my only granddaughter not my Kaylee not my little Kaylee she's been saying this for like five minutes straight what? so you you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months right and you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, <laughs> you you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you're telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh, my God. We are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? 
She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. <laughs> you ain't no I wish good I could boy. Take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Damn, uh, Travis. I just don't. I, I don't understand why you, you you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer. Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, oh you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Thumbnail, maybe? Yes. Ma, Damn it. send Bobby down. <laughs> Drop the gun. God dang it. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. Her beauty is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. What is this music? Well, That's I the real that. horror of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> Did you miss me? Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. <laughs> Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. I need to know about the lovers. What's that? Go. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. What? Oh my god! <sighs> All right, well, here we are. 
episode seven and eight down and uh, ready to be edited. So my goal is to get all this done before the new year. So we're in for a double, triple feature, maybe, if I do two episodes in a row per episode, per, per video. Okay, so, wow. Chris Hackett is a werewolf. Laura is a werewolf. Dylan is possibly a werewolf. Uh, Abby and Abby and Emma are about to go hide in the storm shelter where apparently maybe Chris Hackett like chains himself up during full moons. I failed at getting Jacob out. Somehow. I don't know how, how I failed that. That little... That breaker didn't make any sense to me. Why did I have to pull two switches? Why can't I just pull one? Um, now he doesn't like me. Or doesn't like Ryan. Oh, and werewolfism can basically cure anything. So it looks like from that card, something's going to happen to Ryan that will seriously injure him. And then Lara is going to have to bite him to help him heal. Presumably just before they kill the actual, like, progenitor werewolf. So we are in for a crazy finale to this story, y'all. Sorry for the interruptions. My meeting, phone call, sending an email, realizing that I wasn't actually recording my audio in separate tracks. We're getting it together. But we are also going to get this finished and released before the new year. Okay? Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining me, Trackstar3000, here on Summit Streams. <laughs>